What is going on guys? This is Mike with Chit Chat Gaming and yes, I am still here. Been taking some time off of course with work and such and a busy lifestyle and everything. I haven't really had much time to do anything. Plus, I've been kind of I mean yes, I've been still playing games quite a bit. I've been playing like Apex Legends a lot and jumped into a little bit of Anthem. And most recently been playing the Division 2 beta as well too. Um, and I have been playing on my Switch quite a bit as well. But again though, like I said, just not really a whole lot going on right now. To be 100% honest, I really wanted to speak about. But there is one thing indeed that I have been done, wanting to talk about here. And today, March the 3rd, marks the two year anniversary of the Nintendo Switch. This time, two years ago, I was at work, eagerly waiting to get out so I could head up to Best Buy later on that night at midnight and pick up my pre-order Nintendo Switch along with the games that I had. And that was this bad boy right here. Here it is. This is the actual you know, Joy-Con here with the neon. Got the neon red, the neon blue Joy-Con um, bundle here. I was actually really ecstatic to pick this thing up here. So again, two years ago today, March the 3rd marks the anniversary, the two year anniversary of Nintendo Switch. I picked up this along with Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, One, two, Switch was an awful game. I, well, in my opinion, doesn't really care for it. I also picked up you know, Super Bomberman R, which is a great, fantastic, underrated game. And of course, picked up Stipper Clips digitally as well too. And ever since then, we've had like you know, we've had a lot of great games come out. It's been a big two years on Nintendo Switch with a nice 2019 coming up here as well too. So what I want to do right now is kind of just revisit a couple of the games that I've been playing here recently. Anyways, I mean, like I said, yes, I've been playing some other games, but I do every night sit down on my couch because the best thing about the Nintendo Switch is one of the biggest pros is that it is indeed portable. And handheld mode so of course when I'm on the couch just relaxing not sitting in front of the TV I generally have my Nintendo Switch in my hand so I've been playing a couple games here I just want to go over a couple games like three games here I've been playing quite a bit here kind of kind of like takes you into you know what how far we've come along on the Nintendo Switch as well too so let's go ahead and start off number one here which is a big game of course for Nintendo Switch probably one of the Biggest things happen to the Switch other than Pokemon. Um, that's definitely stole a lot of hardware and everything. I'm talking about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate here. Me personally, huge fan of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, I love the Wii U version of Smash as well too. And for me, I could not wait to get my hands on this here. And this game here is indefinitely, like the title says, it's the ultimate version. And of course, it's the biggest, you know, hottest selling game for Nintendo Switch. When Pokemon comes out here this year, I think it's going to have its run for the money. But Super Smash Bros. is awesome. All the characters you can think of in every in all the series, uh, plus some new ones as well too. Of course, most recently we got Pir uh, Piranha Plant. If you pre-order the game and you uh, you know, registered it, and you did get Piranha, you did did indeed get a Piranha Plant code as well too. Otherwise, you can go on there and you can actually still purchase him. Um, and next month in April, we have Joker from Persona 5 coming out as well too. So Smash Brothers is definitely still growing. I still like to jump in here, you know, play online. Um, and have fun here with some friends as well too. So one of the biggest games that I'm playing here on the you know, on the side has been Super Smash Brothers Ultimate here. The next game I'm kind of jumping into, which is gonna be a game a lot of people are gonna be kind of you know surprised with because it was it looked like it was gonna be really big and we thought it was gonna be a lot of hype around it, but really it was kind of a dud. I'm talking about Starlink Battle for Atlas here. I don't really utilize the controller with the little dock and everything on it with the actual R-Wing. That's more of a collectible <clears throat> sitting on my shelf right now. But I do indeed like jumping, this, jumping into this game. They look graphically. I think it looks great. It does get a little repetitive, but the missions are fun. The story is fun. And with the new DLC that's coming out as well too for Star Fox, it's definitely going to be great here. So I've been playing this game, like I said, quite a bit here. I enjoy it a lot. I like the whole, I think it feels good. The whole flying everything mechanics um, feels really, really good. If you don't have this, you can actually get this pretty cheap right now. You can get the actual additional starships as well too. The ships, all the parts, the weapons, you know, the pilots. You can actually get them at a pretty reasonable price right now at like Best Buy, um, Target, and GameStop. So definitely do yourself a favor. If you see this out and about in the wild, pick it up. Starlink Battle for Atlas is a lot of fun, and they are definitely still making some great DLC for it. Not to mention that Ubisoft is the ones behind this. So, Starlink Battle for Atlas been putting some time into. I got a ton of Switch games digitally and physically, so these three games are the ones that I'm playing the most here, anyways. And this third one's gonna be another one that's gonna be kind of like, really, you're really playing that a lot? And yes, I am because I like games like this. And it is Mutant League Football here. 
sorry, Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. Um, I actually picked this up from Best Buy for like 20 bucks here. Um, this game was actually a lot of fun. It looks great on handheld mode. It looks pretty decent in the, in the dock mode, but it is a definitely a great football style game here that kind of takes you back to the old like super high impact, the NFL street, um, those type of games as well too, Blitz and so forth. Um, if you played the original version on the Genesis, um, then you're gonna definitely know what you're talking about here. This game though is a lot of fun here, whether or not you're playing online, because it does have online mode as well too, which is awesome. But other than that, if you just play against the PC and the franchise mode and whatnot, it definitely is a lot of fun. And playing with friends, it, does, it, it can be a lot of fun as well too. <clears throat> this one here, you actually get all your DLC, you get exclusive teams and arenas as well too for the Nintendo Switch version. So, you know, again though, three very, very different topics. Fighting game, you got more of like a, a flying type simulator game, or well, not really a simulator, but a flying game here. And then you have, you know, a football game. So definitely three types of great games are available on Nintendo Switch right now, with plenty more coming out in the future here. So again, we have come a long way since, you know, two years ago, Nintendo Switch. Like I said, two years ago, I was sitting in line waiting to pick up my pre-order on this bad boy right here. And I'm telling you that I made the best decision in my life picking this up here. Console releases are always a lot of fun. But for some reason, Nintendo Switch was just one of my greatest memories of sitting outside Best Buy, waiting to get a hold of my console here, guys. So, really quick here, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what games that you're playing, or what is your favorite game for Nintendo Switch? What's your fondest memory of Nintendo Switch that you've had over the past two years? Like I said, sound off down below, because I'm always interested in seeing it. I'm um, seeing your guys' opinion and everything here, and what you guys think. More importantly, make sure you guys stick around here because I will be back more frequently doing more videos here. Like I said, just been busy, had some downtime and such here as well too, um, where I haven't had a chance to really do and focus on videos here. We got some great reviews coming up here. Hopefully, doing the uh, you know the show, or not the show. I'm sorry, the RBI baseball game here as well too, very very soon here. For Nintendo Switch, the game releases on Tuesday. We have not seen any gameplay yet, which is odd. And I have not got my review code yet. So I'm definitely looking forward to taking a look at that for you guys as well, too. So make sure you stick around. If you enjoy that content, make sure you like this video. Of course, subscribe um, to my channel. You know, Click the notification button as well, too, to stay up to date. So guys, once again, this has been Mike with Chit Chat Gaming saying happy gaming.